The video game industry is growing every year, and the fact is that the video game industry was valued at over $200 billion USD in 2022 and is now well over a quarter of a trillion dollars. That's why crypto gaming is expected by many analysts to lead the charge in the next bull run. Do you think it's going to be the top sector in the bull run, or will it be AI, Deepin, or something else? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But with gaming being a current hot topic, this will be the focus of my video today, and I'll share three solid gaming projects that you can add to your watch list before the next bull run. Stay tuned for the last one because it could be a big one. If this is your first time here, my name is Summer and this is Fire Hustle. I talk about all things crypto and share my personal strategies as we approach the next bull run. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and most importantly, hit that shiny bell notification button. It really helps the channel more than you think and I'd really appreciate it. And as always, please remember that none of this is financial advice. Let's jump right into it, starting with the first game altcoin on today's list, Lit, which belongs to Lit Lab Games. Lit Lab Games is an esport developer and game publishing platform operating on the BNB chain. Their flagship game, Cyber Titans, is a 4-8 player multiplayer strategy game under the genre called Auto Chess Games. You can see that this game is heavily inspired by Riot Games' teamfight tactics. The economics around Lit Lab's games are simple. Lit tokens are used as an entry fee as well as the reward for players who win a match. To make things easier for its users, LitLab also offers its own fully integrated gasless wallet. Now, I've talked about Lit on my channel previously when the token was sitting at around the 3 cent range in November. Then we saw it climb up to its all time high of 5.6 cents in December. As of now, it has slowly corrected back down near the 3 cent range again, and with the market overall experiencing a pullback, this could dip even further. So, I would definitely keep this on my watch list over the coming months as we anticipate a gaming sector explosion in the next bull cycle. Now, in December, we saw some major major news come out, Lit Lab Games was actually acquired by Elixir Games, which is a well-known Web3 gaming distribution platform backed by Square Enix. This is great because it means a larger company with more capital is behind the project and they'll be able to spend more on development and even marketing. This is similar to what we've seen in the gaming industry from gaming giants like Steam and Epic Games. Another benefit is that Elixir Games will incorporate Lit tokens into their own products as well, bringing more users and liquidity into the project's economy. Lit Labs has also partnered with launchpads like DQBay and ChainGPT, creating more exposure and funding for the project. And finally, when it comes to the Cyber Titans game, the team released the close alpha of the game's mobile version on January 22nd. Now, let's move on to project number two, and you know we had to talk about Cetify. So we've established that gaming is one of the top narratives of the next bull run, but how do we take advantage of it? How are we supposed to sort through all of these games to find hidden gems that can bring us 100x gains? You could either spend the entire entire day in a cycle of sleep, research, and repeat, or you could streamline the entire process with what we call launch pads. The top one in the gaming space with some of the highest ROI is easily Cetify. Cetify specializes in discovering early stage gaming projects and guiding them through their fundraising, launch, and growth phases. With the track record of success in the previous bull run, Cetify is positioned for even greater achievements this time, and the numbers say everything. Cetify stands out as a top platform for ROI, not not just this year and last, but throughout the entire history. Here's how some of their launches performed. Sophia Verse with an 8.8x, GFAL 10x, we talked about games for a living in a previous video as well, Chappies 12x, Hypercycle with 13x, and ChainGPT with a whopping 42x. And now you see ChainGPT is partnering with Lit Labs on top of that. Cetify's biggest winners in the last bull run hit 109x, 169x, 186x, and an incredible 698x. This means that if you had invested $1,000 with Cetify for the launch of Blocktopia, you would have made 600 and $98,000. So to get access and allocations for Cetify's launchpad projects, you have to purchase and stake Cetify's token, the S Fund token. The S Fund token hit a high of over $16 in the last bull run. Right now, it's in the 270 range, perfect for dollar cost averaging if you have been looking to get in. That means capturing different price points so you don't just buy in too high and get a nice average buying price. Once you've completed the KYC process and have staked your tokens, you're ready to roll. Cetify launches a new project once every 
every few weeks and all that's left to do is to connect your wallet and buy the tokens on launch day. Keep an eye out for some of their big launches happening soon including Bloodloop. You may remember Bloodloop from one of my previous gaming videos and recently they just announced their brand new incubation project called Xverse. They'll be creating a free first person shooter game that rewards players with an in-game token and NFTs that can be traded on their in-game marketplace. This game is powered by Immutable and over 50,000 users have already registered for the public alpha. Check out all of the links in the description to learn more about Cetify. Finally, for my third pick, we have Dr. Disrespect's very own gaming project, Dead Drop. The team is calling Dead Drop a first person vertical extraction shooter. So what the heck is vertical extraction shooter you might ask? Well, it has the same idea as Escape from Tarkov. In the game, you drive into a large scale match against others and you can fight each other and steal loot from people you defeat. Players can then choose to leave the match early, hence the extraction, or you can stay and fight for more loot, but the risk of dying and losing it all becomes greater as you'll have to continue winning fights and avoiding death. It's called vertical extraction because you need to escape through a helicopter at the top of the map, but this could change with different game modes and different maps. Sounds fun, but let's talk about the team behind this. So it's being developed by a studio called Midnight Society on Unreal Engine 5. One of the co-founders is Dr. Disrespect, also known as Guy Beam. If you don't know, Dr. Disrespect is a giant gaming content creator, literally with over 4.6 million subscribers on YouTube and a huge Twitch following as well. He's been a huge asset towards the marketing of this project and he is the very reason why I added this project to my list. Creator with his following can drive insane amounts of downloads to this game and of course he will be incentivized to heavily promote Dead Drop since he is one of the co-founders. The remaining co-founders have experience working on massive AAA titles like Halo, Gears of War, and Call of Duty. Some of the other team members have also worked on more games like Destiny, Elder Scrolls Online, Valorant, Forza, Motorsport 5, and tons more. Now they're calling this a free-to-play NFT shooter game. That's because users can use NFTs to get special content inside the game. If you're looking to play Dead Drop right now, it's still in early development with the alpha yet to be released. So in order to play an early pre-release snapshot of the game, you would need to purchase one of Dead Drop's passes or keys. Game access is $9.99 on the website and this is a limited time offer. With this access, pass you get a number of perks in game but you can also sell this access pass on the open nft marketplace after 30 days but the dry risk key packages seem to be sold out these nft drops are limited and there will be a drop every now and then so definitely keep your eyes open for them if you're interested after the game officially launches it will be completely free to play in recent news dr disrespect mentioned on his stream that the game could be set for public release sometime in the second or third quarter of 2024 and i'll be sure to post an update when that happens. Now the big reason why I'm including this project on my list is because there's no project token or any mention of a token yet, which means we could still be extremely early here. We'll have to wait and see how the project plays out. If you ever want to see me playing any of these games, let me know in the comments below. But remember guys, even though I added these to my watch list, I urge you all to do your own research before making any investment decisions. No one knows for sure where these projects can go, so only invest what you're willing to lose. And that's all folks. If you want to learn more about my portfolio and strategies let me know in the comments below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel remember the crypto space comes with high risk and none of this is financial advice i highly recommend that you do your own research before deciding to invest hope you guys enjoyed the video see you in the next one